Welcome to this video on how to manage your price match products in ProfitTrack. The benefits of price match compliance in ProfitTrack include Top selling lines will be matched in every day of selling price with the major chains. Price match products are hosted with the Metcash core range indicator. RRP compliance is ensured for price match products as the sell price cannot be raised above RRP. Easy batching of price match products for ticket printing and reporting. To facilitate the price match host, you must complete the following steps. The first step is to import the price match talker that will be used to print the price match products on. The second step is to set up the price match compliance indicator. The third step is to process the price match host. And the fourth step is to print the tickets for the price match products. We will also look at some of the other price match functions in ProfitTrack. We will look at the core range indicator in shop, the price ceiling on price match products, and reporting. Our first step for price match readiness is to import the new talker. Click Setup, System Settings, System Options, scroll down to Labels, and click Talkers. Then click the Import button. You need to navigate to the template on your C drive. It's Program Files x86, SSA, ProfitTrack Server, Raw Data, and Talker Templates. The file location is written in red at the bottom of your screen. Then double click the 9up Metcash unit PM file. The new talker will be shown at the bottom of the list and should look like this. Click Save and then Close. The second step for price match readiness is to set up the compliance indicators. There are two tables to set up, the core range and the compliance indicator. Click Setup, Edit Lookup Tables, Sundry Tables, then Core Range. Click the Add button and enter in range code of 1 with a description of price match 1 in capital letters. Click Save. Click Add and enter in range 2 with a description of price match 2. Click Save. Click Add and enter in 3 with price match 3. Click Save. Your core range table should now look like this. Click Close. To set up the Compliance Indicator table, click Setup, Edit Lookup Tables, Sundry Tables, then Compliance Indicator. Click Add, enter in a code of 1, Description of Price Match 1 in capital letters, and then select the Price Match Talker that was set up in the previous step. The price ceiling must be set to ON. Click in the field and press the space bar to change this field. Click Save and then Add. Enter Price Match 2. Select the ticket. Use the space bar to make sure the price ceiling is on. Click Save and then Add. And enter in Price Match 3. Your Compliance Indicator table should now look like this. Click Close to exit out. Once you have set up the Price Match Core Range and Compliance tables, you are ready to process the Price Match Host. Click the Host icon. Collect or import your host exactly the same way as your normal weekly host. When the host has been processed, double click to view the changes. Normal cell must always equal RRP for price match products. In order to facilitate this, you must always accept the increases and decreases in the host file. Double click the price increase batch and press the space bar 
to toggle to accept all changes as indicated by the tick. Do the same for the decrease batch. Normally when processing your weekly host, some of you may check the new cell prices in the batches and change them here before updating shop. Price match products cell 1 must always equal RRP. Here we are attempting to change the price to $2.80 when the RRP is $2.69. RRP compliance will ensure that this message is displayed, the price will turn purple and the price will not be changed. The price will remain at RRP. Before you update shop, just double check the two ticks are on the price increase and decrease batches. Click update shop when ready to process the host into your shop file. Click close when complete. The fourth and final step for price match is printing the talkers after the host has been processed. Click the tickets icon. Click view pending. This will display all the products that are pending ticket printing. To view the price match batch, click close. Then click the 9up price match batch. This contains only your price match products. Put your price match stationery in the printer and click print. Print any other pending ticket batches as required. Click close when done. We will now have a look at some other price match functions in ProfitTrack. Let's start in the shop file, where we can now F3 search by core range, view the core range indicator for products, and see how the price ceiling works on price match products. Click the shop icon. Click F3 search. Click the core range radio button and select either price match 1, price match 2 or price match 3. Please note you cannot search on all three core ranges at the one time. Here is the core range indicator which says this product is in price match 1. Click on the link to view all products listed in this core range. The sell price for price match products will be shown in purple, making them easily identifiable. Now we will look at how the price ceiling works. Here we are attempting to change the sell price to $5.10, which is above the RRP of $4.99. A message will display and the price will not be changed. The core range indicator is also listed on products in the catalogue. Click the catalogue and here is the core range indicator. It does not list price match 1, 2 or 3, simply a tick to let you know that the product belongs in the core range. Reports can be printed just for your price match products. Select reports from the menu and then select the report required. We will demonstrate how to print a price list report. Click the products button, click add F3, then core range, and then select price match 1. Click tick all to select all products and OK. Repeat these steps for price match 2 and price match 3 products. At this point we suggest you save these selections so you can quickly print this report next time. Click Save Selections, give the report a name and click Save. If you click the little arrow you can see that your report has now been saved. Click OK to run this report.